A literature review is a critical analysis in which you present the current knowledge including findings, theoretical and methodological contributions to a specific topic. It can either be a standalone review or a review for a research project that you are conducting. In this video, I'm going to break it down into six easy sections to help you search for relevant papers and write an effective review in no time. If you're new to the channel, I'm Patrick, a PhD student at Oxford, and in this series, I share the best study tips and hacks that I've been using myself. Right, let's do this. First, ask your supervisor for guidance on where to begin looking for papers. Your supervisor will obviously have a deep understanding of the field, so he or she can tell you which papers are relevant and which are not. Your supervisor might even have a relatively recent review paper saved that you can use as a starting point, and if not, then we can proceed on to the next step. Here you want to look for a review paper in your broader field. The reason for this is that if you don't know much about this field, then it's best to start with a published review article for guidance. Even if this review article is a couple of years old, it's still relevant for you because you want to extract the following pieces of information. What's going on in the field? What's commonly discussed? What methods are used? What problems have been addressed? What challenges remain to be addressed? So where do we look for those papers? There are a couple of ways to do this. First, use your university online library. Everything will be available from there anyways, but more importantly, you can even filter papers based on whether they are peer reviewed or not which you cannot do on some big search engines. Next, use search engines like Google Scholar, PubMed, if applicable, ScienceDirect, and there are many more search engines available, but I've been using these since my undergrad years and never had any issues finding relevant papers. So how do we actually look for these papers? It can be as simple as your area of focus and review, and it will generate many search results, and I've often started this way. Another way is to search for specific keywords with Boolean operators for better filtering. But there are so many papers, so how do I know which ones are actually worth reading? This step will take some time. Let's walk through an example. If you have found a potentially relevant paper, the first thing you do is read the abstract. It will tell you what topics and themes are discussed in this paper. Also look for keywords in that paper. From this, you will know whether it's worth reading this paper or not. Once you have found this review paper, then we move on to the next step. Since published review articles cover a broader topic inside many papers, from there you can start going deeper by exploring relevant papers that are cited in that review article. But there are so many papers cited, which one do I explore further? Well, this will depend on what exactly your area of focus is. For instance, in my master's, I wanted to look for computational techniques used to explore a specific area of a disease. So I was interested in understanding how some of the methods work, which ones are more popular and why. So in these review papers, I was looking for exactly that. Once I found a method in a review paper that they talked about, I explored the paper that they cited and continued on from there. One way to see how important a paper is, is to see the number of citations on Google Scholar. If it's high and a paper that's in your field, then that paper is important and you should probably save it. Next, make use of connected papers. It's a tool to help students find and explore papers that are relevant to your field of research in a visual way. And this is especially useful when it comes to literature reviews. I made a video on connected papers in the past. I'll link it in the top right hand corner of this video. Another tool I use is called Cite. You can search up any paper you like, and it will tell you how a research paper has been cited by providing the context of the citation and classification describing whether it provides supporting or contrasting evidence for the cited claim. Write down notes, annotate papers, highlight key points made in the papers, etc. I'd recommend you use a good reference manager like Mendeley, Zotero, or other ones where you can do these annotations directly within the application. I made a video on this in the past where I talked about how I use Mendeley. I'll also link it in the video in the top right hand corner. Separately, make notes on Google Docs, Microsoft Word or whatever service you prefer using. The idea is the following. You want to organize a nice structure for your review and place the topics, debates, methods, arguments, etc. in the appropriate order. Here's some questions to help guide you. What are the current trends in the field? What themes are discussed in the papers? What are the debates or controversies? What papers have been influential in your area? What problems have been addressed? what challenges remain open. How you will outline your review will depend on what exactly your aim is of your review, i.e. what story are you trying to tell. For instance, in my master's thesis, I wrote a thematic review. That's because I wanted to explore two things separately. One part was dedicated towards the computational methods, i.e. the theory and how they work. The other part was dedicated on the biological background. 
In my masters, I used these computational methods to explore a specific area of biology, so for me, it made sense to tell the story in this way. That being said, there are some ways a literature review can be outlined. Chronological, explore older to more recent papers if you want to tell a story on the evolution of a field. Thematic, explore a few important themes. Methodological, compare the different methods used across studies. Theoretical, compare the different theories or models. Reviews are usually written in three main parts, the introduction, the main body and the conclusion. Let's walk through an example of how to synthesize the literature. I got this from Auckland University, I'll link the source in the video description. The first sentence introduces a recurring theme. It basically outlines your main claim or key point for the following paragraph. The next sentence or two are positioning research findings. Here you want to identify a couple of major themes that you will talk about in this review. This should include different points of views. The next chunk of text should elaborate on some research findings. These should align with your point of view. The final sentence of this paragraph states the significance of the research findings. For each theme that you write about, you can organize the literature in this way. It makes the research findings and what your positioning is with respect to the broader field very clear to the reader. Here's another example of identifying limitations and future research. The first sentence specifies a limitation. The next few sentences explains the impact of that limitation. Then you suggest future research ideas. The final sentence of this paragraph states a possible contribution. A literature review is a critical analysis in which you present the current knowledge including findings, theoretical and methodological contributions to a specific topic. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something from this video, please like, subscribe and share to your friends who are also writing literature reviews. Comment down below what study tips you want to explore and I will try to answer them in future videos. Thank you.